Hey guys, welcome back to the Jones Zone. Today I uh, spent some time reflecting on the Word of God, and I just wanted to go over some scripture with you. Scripture that comes out of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 24, where it reads, Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, And he who formed you in the womb, I am the Lord, who makes all things, who stretches out the heavens all alone, who spreads abroad the earth by myself, who frustrates the signs of the babblers. You guys know what the Lord is talking about here when he uh, says the babblers. He's talking about false prophets, people who go on and on about things. They think the Lord is telling them, but these things are not actually from the Lord. Instead, what you have are people who have an ear for lying spirits, familiars and the like. But let's continue on. Okay, so he frustrates the signs of the babblers and drives the diviners mad. Okay, so what is a diviner? A diviner is a fortune teller. Your crystal ball people and those who are into tarot cards, uh, the astrologers and the prognosticators. Okay, so God frustrates the signs of the babblers and he drives the diviners mad and there are many ways that he can do this. But whatever the case may be, it's important that you stop prognosticating. Because if you don't, he could befall you with an affliction of the mind that will literally make you go mad, landing you into a psych ward. Trust me, I know because I've been committed into a mental hospital before when I used to dabble in astrology and all that. I used to be like, hey guys, look at me, I'm a, I'm a Leo, and all that wicked stuff. Alright, moving on. So next it says, who turns wise men backward and make their knowledge foolishness. Okay, so who are the wise men? Today it would be your intellectuals, your philosophers, and your scientists. More specifically, your theoretical physicists, your astrophysicists, and your evolutionary biologists. We're talking about science that is working on some kind of theoretical framework or a model. I'm not talking about science that has firmly been established, like chemistry, biology, and let's just say electrical engineering. Okay, these things are tangible, they're uh, retestable, reproducible, but your black holes, your white holes, your wormholes, and your uh, 11 dimensions are not. Nobody can observe T-Rexes evolving into birds today. Nobody can observe monkeys turning into human beings over millions of years right now. And as for philosophers, people that talk about the inner workings of consciousness and, and karma and who preach a one-size-fits-all lifestyle for everyone, God will take all these philosophies and turn it into nonsense and make them backwards. Hmm. Where have we seen that? The Big Bang, okay? Life came all into being on its own. Right? No, that's backwards. We Christians already know how it goes. God created life out of nothing. All right? Okay? All right, so that's all I have for you guys. Now I'm signing off. Stay blessed.